Hello Sim Racers, we're excited to bring you the 2.0 update for our F124 mod for Assetto Corsa. We are on board with Daniel Ricardo, starting from 14th place on the grid. Let's see what we can do against the top teams. We've had a great start, so let's dive into the inside of the first corner. A small contact there, but the car seems okay. Ricciardo has an interesting nickname, the Honey Badger. It's a nod to his aggressive racing style combined with his laid-back personality. Slipstream from McLaren into Eau Rouge, and we've touched it. Better exit, and we've passed Piastri. Daniel Ricciardo is famous for his Ashui celebrations. He pours champagne into his race boot and drinks from it when he's on the podium. And he dives to the inside. What a move from Oscar. He's not giving us an easy time here, is he? Let's hope he makes a mistake somewhere. We've gained four places already. Not bad for a man retiring from F1. We still have a chance to catch them as long as we're in the DRS zone. Let's not forget that the new update includes completely revised physics, improved AI and minor bug fixes. Fun fact, Daniel Ricciardo loves a good joke. His favourite prank is to scare his teammates by hiding behind doors. Let's try to use the slipstream here and pass these guys. The fastest lap at Spa-Francorchamps was set by Lewis Hamilton in 2020 with a time of 1 minute 41.252 seconds. That's an average speed of over 230 kilometers per hour. Better traction out of Blanchimont and we've passed both Piastri and Alonso. What a great overtake by Daniel Ricciardo. Late breaking into the last corner and we've set the fastest lap of the race. We are now eighth behind Norris and Hamilton. A small lock-up there, but we're still in the game, chasing the McLarens. Spa-Francorchamps is a favourite track for many F1 drivers and sim racers. There is no doubt that it also offers great racing action, as you can see here. This is a great example of how the new 2.0 update offers much more stable braking and traction, allowing for close battles with the AI. Norris overtakes both Hamilton and Verstappen, forcing them to slow down. This gives us a chance to gain on them. Verstappen defends really well and overtakes Lewis into the Pujol corner. Not an easy task, overtaking a seven-time world champion. Hamilton has two dogs, Roscoe and Coco, who frequently appear on his social media. Roscoe even has his own Instagram account. He's closing all the doors, not giving us any room at all. Look at that move. Hamilton was knighted by the British royal family in 2021, making him Sir Lewis Hamilton in recognition of his services to motorsports. Better exit should give us a chance here. He is still there racing us side by side. What a commitment from the Mercedes driver. No, it wasn't enough to pass the Mercedes. Hamilton dives to the outside of the last corner and overtakes Verstappen. Unbelievable move from Lewis. I guess Max wasn't expecting that. This gives us a chance to overtake them both. Late breaking into the first corner. Will it work? Looks like they were too focused on battling each other, just like in Abu Dhabi 21. We're now in P6. The pace is good to gain more places. There are still eight laps to go. We are 3.8 seconds behind the leading group. Looks like they're having a battle there. This may play our way. Let's try and catch them. End of lap three and we've set another fastest lap. We're now 1.5 seconds behind Norris, almost in the DRS zone. Come on, Daniel, you can do it! Better exit out of the first corner and he's now past the McLaren. What a great move. Lando Norris is a big fan of gaming. When he's not racing, you might find him streaming on Twitch or playing games like Call of Duty. Now Ricardo has DRS, giving him extra speed to overtake Sainz. Like many athletes, Carlos Sainz has a few superstitions. One of them is wearing the same pair of lucky socks on race days, which he believes brings him good luck on the track. First attempt failed. 
Uh, did you know that Daniel Ricciardo has an Italian heritage, which is why you often hear him speaking a bit of Italian in interviews? In his free time, Ricciardo loves listening to classic rock. ACDC is one of his favorite bands. Outside of racing, Daniel enjoys adventure sports like surfing, skydiving and skiing. He's all about thrill-seeking activities which fit his high adrenaline lifestyle. He's looking for a gap, but the Ferraris are way too fast through these corners. Concentrate, Daniel! Speed is looking good in the third sector. Let's see what's going to happen. He is side by side with Carlos. Who is going to win this battle? Absolutely amazing racing action. All three drivers have DRS here. It's going to be close. Good exit out of the last corner, and he dives to the inside, overtaking both Ferraris at once. That is incredible. I haven't seen such brave overtakes in a long time. This man deserves a place in Formula One next season. Two more cars in front and less than two seconds to catch up. It's getting even more interesting here in Spa-Francorchamps. He's braking as late as possible and using all the track to catch up. The fact that the leaders are still battling with each other may give him a chance to fight for the win. End of lap five, and he's done what he needed to do. He's now in the DRS zone, which should definitely help him. And he dives to the inside of turn one, taking second place from Sergio Perez. Unbelievable move from Daniel Ricciardo. With Russell unable to use DRS, he has a chance to overtake him on the Kemmel straight. He is having a go. Will he do it? Will he take the lead here? They're side by side, but George is not giving away the win so easily. What a battle we have on our hands. Both drivers understand that one small mistake could be very costly now. Let's wait for the third sector, where Daniel had the most advantage. He takes the slipstream and overtakes the Mercedes. Absolutely incredible move from Daniel Ricciardo to take first place on his way to the win at the Belgian Grand Prix. We hope you've enjoyed watching the new 2.0 update in action. Let us know what you think about the new video format in the comments. Thank you everyone for being here with us and goodbye.